guys. So, uh, driving home from Andy's, we uh, got the axle installed, as you saw, which is good. Now I got the motorcycle jack to lift my motorcycle up and do a little bit of work on that. We're going to also look up the uh, <clears throat> torque specs for all the bolts and the follow-away procedure, because I don't remember it off the top of my head. And uh, I'll take you along with that journey, and we can figure it out together. And I'm looking at the sky now, and I better hurry up because uh, this rain's coming, <laughs> coming quick. Add to this video that I uh, started making, working in the garage on the bike. I uh, really got haphazard on the filming because I was just running into issues, and it was hot in there. And anyway, long story short, let's talk it out. So I originally went into this attempting to diagnose a little bar wiggle that I get. If I take my hands off the bars at like 50, you might be able to see it. Yeah, look at that. The handlebars are wiggling a little bit. It's especially happening in like certain road conditions and if I'm a little bit leaned over to the left and I take them off the bars, they'll wiggle. Uh, it doesn't really get super serious. It gets a little unnerving, but not like crazy bad. Um, definitely something I want to try to fix, obviously. Uh, the bike is totally stable at high speeds. You can take your hands off the bars. I'm not worried about it killing me just yet. But I would like to, uh, you know, fix it before it uh, maybe gets worse, right? So we're looking into it, but I'll try to show you again here. See that? See that wiggle? Nothing crazy, but sometimes it'll get a little bit worse than that. Um, it's pretty consistent, though. Right at about 50. And then, like I said, if I'm a little bit leaned over to the left, it'll give me a little bit more wiggle. Uh, the front tire is a little bit chopped. Not that bad. But I do want to like throw a straight edge on it and try to like feel it out. Um, generally, motorcycles, of course, get left side tire wear uh, a little bit, a little bit faster than right side tire wear. First things first, I need to clean the massive mess that I've created in the back corner of the garage here. I don't know what I was thinking, but I also have whiskey in here, which I needed to put away. But anyway, we're gonna clean up first. Then we're gonna work on the bike. So we got the bike all jacked up. Um, the first thing we're going to do is check the fall away, like I talked about. So you want to put a mark on your fender, basically centered, and then what we're going to do is when you just push the tire, it should be two inches or less until it catches and falls on its own. So I'm going to get a tape measure and I'll, I'll just hold it up there. You could use like a stand if you wanted to. The one thing to keep in mind though, all these cables right here do kind of resist the bike steering a little bit so your fall away is probably going to be a little more accurate in that direction than it is the far direction as i nudge this i'm going to do this off camera so i can use two hands but we want to see if it takes more than two inches to let this fall and again this is the bad direction yeah so that, that side's not a great way to do it we're gonna do it the other direction. So I'm gonna start at two inches. If it takes more than these two inches for this tire to fall, then the fall away is technically too tight. So my fall away is a little tight, if anything. I forgot to do, you really wanna unclip your clutch cable. You'd be surprised how much that'll change your measurement. So let's try this again. Okay, we're pretty straight. That's like the two inch mark. And it's going, so it's about two, two and a half. It's on the tighter side, but roughly within spec. I just ran this a couple more times off camera and the fall away is about two and a half or so and then in this direction i can hear the cables rubbing and it's a little higher but the thing is um you know even going in in this direction which is the easier direction your your throttle cables and stuff do grab a little bit so 
I uh, I think the fall is pretty good. It wasn't good. It wasn't a good spot when I put these on too. So I'm gonna call it good and uh, continue on here with my diagnostic. What I want to check is the static rider sag um, of the front suspension, and I'll actually probably check the rear as well. But basically, the way you do this is you take a zip tie, put it around the fork tube. And we're going to fully compress the suspension with the ratchet straps and then we'll take the bike down off the jack and lift it or set on it and see where it sags to. All right, <clears throat> so I spent a bit of time here with the diagnostic and uh, I can't really figure out exactly what's going on. I checked the rider sag. It was pretty much accurate. Um, checked a few other things. Ooh, wanted to see if these bolts were loose. They're not crazy loose. They are a little bit loose though. Hmm, okay. I uh, was wondering, I should do the top tree first all together. Oh, crap, let me move this out a little bit. Getting that little bit of bar wiggle I was talking about. Now, since those were loose, I'm going to tighten the bottom ones also. But then I might loosen the bottom ones up and loosen the fork brace and see if anything got out of position somehow. Don't exactly see how it would have, but we'll see. All right, so we just removed, removed the uh, tire between 10 and 2 in the first part of the directions. Make sure you drop and let your stuff roll away. I'm gonna remove the valve core. Come on. I cut split in the top of this guy. Like that. Come on, you son of a gun. There we go. Good enough. I squeeze in six ounces for this size tire. Too much of it too, or you're gonna push it all back the other way. Pull your hose off. Pour it back in. We're gonna fill her up to uh, whatever psi you, of your bike is. Mine, I do about 35 or so. Can I do it this way? Look at that! Almost perfect. Now we go test it. Four to six miles, it says, for it to do its thing. All right, everyone, so now we have to ride four to six miles. So we're at 29.7, so we'll go to like 34, 35 um, on the gauge, and we'll see how she does. The gel stuff is in there right now. We're back aired up to where we usually sit. I usually air the front tire between 32 and 35. It's a little bit more than what they say in the manual, but I'm also a little heavier than I think the average rider that they predict. I have tried anywhere from 30 to 35 in like one pound increments, and I still had this bar wobble issue. So it didn't really seem to make a difference on the air pressure uh, side of things. So I did try that though. So I, what I put in there, as you could tell, was ride on motorcycle tire balancer and sealant. So we will see how that goes. I don't think this is a tire balance issue, to be honest with you. So I don't think the sealant's gonna do anything. Something against the, something against this product. I just don't think that's what my problem is. But I wanted to try it, because it's a cheap way. It, it's, a, it's a cool experiment, and it's a, cheap, it's a cheap enough product. So I figured, what the heck, I'll give it a shot. 
he'll pull out, thank you. Um, so I'll give it a shot, and we'll, we'll ride a couple miles here, and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, so let's, once this car comes past, we'll slow down a little bit, and then we'll take our hands off the bars, and see what she's got. Well, no wiggle, so that's cool. That doesn't necessarily mean anything. Oh, there it is. Okay, I got a little wiggle there. Like I said, I don't expect this to fix it, but we'll see what it does. I don't think I have a tire balance issue. I will say, so I got that little wiggle back there, but it does maybe seem to be a little better. This is always the worst. If you take your hands off the bars and a left hand lean, because the tire's a little bit cupped, that's where it really produces the worst wiggle. I'm pretty sure it's just the tire being a little bit cupped is, is, the, is the, the, you know, the root cause of the issue. But I, like I said, I just wanted to try this product for the heck of it. Kind of a fun little experiment. Although I will say, I get a little couple wiggles and it stops. Whereas before, it would it would keep going until I put my hands back on the bars. So that's promising. I'm not I'm not convinced yet. You gotta keep going. It's not right off the road, shall we? We are we are about four miles in. So whatever this product is supposed to do, it should have theoretically done by now. tiny bit of wiggle but not much that's interesting i gotta hit the one section of road that i don't trust and uh, see what it does because i'm getting some decent results actually i'm not convinced yet and it definitely isn't going to solve the problem it looks like but it, it might be helping it so far um for full transparency here i never balance motorcycle tires uh i just read enough stuff on forums, stopped balancing them. I had never had an issue until now. I put thousands and thousands of miles on these, this motorcycle. Never had an issue. So I, I might be learning something new today that tire balance is more important than I thought for a motorcycle. However, keep in mind, I did have a balancer for a while. And basically every time I put the tire up, if I match the, the light spot of the tire to the heavy part of the wheel, the, the valve stem, it honestly was so close to balance that it was never an issue. So. To be completely honest with you, I think I need to uh, reconsider my uh, my theory on that. We're up here. So it is a little wiggly. That's interesting. So I think that it takes the uh, it takes the gel some time to re-fling itself around the wheel. Um, so we'll see. Um, this is about my... Uh, third attempt, I think, is filming the end of this video, but I said to myself, you'll see the day has changed. Um, the, the, the last video, I was like, I just realized that I needed to uh, ride the bike a little bit more to see, but um, it, the bar wiggle is pretty good. Now, I will say, it definitely comes back here and there, but it seems like balancing the tire helped, like, I don't know how to describe this, but when it helped, it, it was 100% better. If it didn't help, it was only like 20, well, no, probably like 60, 70% better. Because it, it doesn't seem to really get into the violent wiggle like it did before. Um, and, uh, like, you know, if I'm in this corner here and I let go, that's where it'll still wiggle. But I, the tire's chopped on that left-hand side, so that doesn't surprise me. That's actually less, like, neck wobble than it is literally me, like, bumping over the the kind of the tread of the tire and I still have good grip um, and it doesn't feel bad at speed when you have both hands on the bars and so the bike's still safe like I'm not worried about it from that perspective but um, you know it just it just has a little bit of a of a wobble so also I realized after filming this if you took a drink every time I said the word wiggle uh, you probably would be dead so don't do that <laughs> definitely make fun of me in the comments but don't recommend turning this one into a drinking game you uh, you might have some serious health problems after the fact. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. God bless America, and I'll see you on the next one.